So why is he so adorable then? Shouldn't he be just completely terrifying, savage, and predatory? She leaned down and planted a kiss on one of his tentacles, scratching at the joint between a spider-like leg and a dog-like one, causing both legs to jerk rhythmically in pleasure. Well, he's savage and predatory, just like dogs, cats, ferrets, lots of other animals we've domesticated as pets, but primal doesn't just mean savage and predatory. A mother's love is primal, as is the urge to protect one's family. Joy is primal. You, you know what? Look at this. I dug into my pocket and pulled out a mesh bag full of little spheres, like smallish marbles. Each one was glassy and iridescent, shining in a different spectrum from the others. Ixie likes to give gifts. These are the souls of people who've died li having lived their lives in a primal state. This, I said, plucking out a black slimy one and handing it to her, is the first gift he gave me. It's the soul of an 18th century Portuguese serial rapist. The man lived his entire life according to his base desires and died when one of his victim's brothers caught him in the act. Kathy made a face as soon as she touched it. Yeah. You can feel the character of the person whose soul it was. Pretty fucking disgusting. She handed it back, and I took it. But then, there's also this one, I said, holding her one that swirled with whites, pale yellows, and powder blues. She hesitated for a second, but then took it. Almost immediately, her eyebrows came up, and a small f smile appeared on her face. She's just a baby, she said. I nodded. That is my favorite because that is my older sister who died suddenly when she was just seven months old. My parents were devastated, but, but feel how happy she is. Kathy closed her eyes and clutched the soul close. Her smile widened and tears trickled down her cheeks. She is! My God, she's delighted! I smiled back. Babies are primal. They're beings of nothing but primal thoughts and including the love they feel for their parents. Every infant who passes away comes to rest with Ixy, and Ixy takes great care of them. It's heaven, like they teach about in Sunday school, but real and demonstrable. Kathy peered down at the little soul. Her name was Jenny? I nodded. Communing with the souls is easy. You just have to open yourself to it. She's so sweet. Reluctantly, she handed the soul back. Are they bored, being in a little bag in your pocket? No, I answered quickly. These are just the metaphysical shells. The souls inside are still experiencing their eternal rest. Kathy looked back down at Ixie. So you care for them? All the little children who never got the chance to grow up? Her voice was cracking. I think we'd struck a nerve. I wonder if Kathy had a dead sibling as well. Ixie turned several eyes up to her and... Though he had no particular mouth, he actually had about 80 of them, but none were human mouths with lips, to smile with, we could both feel the smile radiating off of him. The dark shadow that cloaked him everywhere he went were like a comforting darkness, a warm blanket on a cold night. I... her voice was really breaking now. I can't even handle it. She laughed helplessly. It's just so sweet. I smiled again. I know. Ixie terrified me when I first met him, but I love the big doofus now, and this is why. Kathy wiped her face, sniffling. We should get going. Can Ixie ride with us, or is he too big? He'll shrink down or grow to whatever size he needs to be for whatever situation he's in. He can ride with us. One of the tentacles began wagging frantically. Ixie loved car rides. I stood, and in a flash of inspiration, I offered Kathy my hand. I know that Anana and Sarissa have told me that I should avoid touching her for a while, and I understood why, but something just felt right about it. Kathy didn't hesitate. She took my hand, and I helped her to her feet. Come on, Ixie. You can ride with us. Maybe you'll tamp down on Anana's urges a bit. We headed back to the vehicle. We had a mystical artifact to find. The End